Hello, my name is Lee Lewis. Today is December 8th of 2006. The following video clip was taken in November of 1991. During that time, I worked for the city of Orlando, and they sent me on a trip to Orem, Utah, where I was studying WordPerfect, which was then the leading word processing system of the day. Uh, while we were there, the Word Perfect Corporation sent our group on a trip to the, uh, the Mormon Tabernacle in Salt Lake City. And uh, the following video clip was taken on November 3rd when we visited the, the tabernacle, uh, tabernacle Choir and uh, visited many of the buildings there and took a, a tour. And I captured this. I'll, this has been, let me see, 1991. 15, 16 years ago now. And I just wanted to share this video with you. It was an interesting trip, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Yo Manners, and for being with us today. would like to mention a couple of events that are going on. There will be two of my left rear is open. It's the Church History Museum, and you're invited to enjoy that. We appreciate you being here. If your travels bring you this way again, Right here, they didn't find the beautiful city that you see today. They found a very dry desert land with native plants, such as the found on the monument, the cactus, and sage bush. You may have noticed this is a very dry area. Uh, <laughs> uh, because it was a desert, the first thing that the pioneers did, even before they didn't find any permanent shelter themselves, is they went up into the mountains to divert the canyons. So the next spring, what they did was they planted a lot earlier, and they looked forward to a better harvest. But just as those crops were maturing in the second year, Ports of large black crickets keep swarming into the valley. That is probably the, that's the oldest building on Temple Square and probably the most well-known, one of the most well-known buildings in Utah. Um, I'm glad you got a chance to go inside because they're having a conference right now, so I won't be able to, to bring you back inside, but I'll tell you a little bit about this building and also that one. Um, this is the one you're seated in right now is the assembly hall. This was completed in 1880. This is built out of the smaller granite blocks not used in the building of the temple. It took the pioneers a great deal of time to haul those blocks here so they didn't want to waste their resources. They saved these small blocks of granite and they built themselves a chapel. This was originally built um, for Sunday worship services. Uh, today we use it more as a concert hall, a place for concerts and lectures and other public events. Uh, everything you see in this building has been restored so that it moves uh, very much in the way these are well over 100 years old. When you think about this, uh, about this building as well as the tabernacle and it's almost completely constructed out of pine in front, it's kind of blocked by the screen there. Uh, that is the only new piece of the building. They put that in in 1983 when they renovated the building. It's not quite as big as the one in the tabernacle. This one only has 3,500 pipes. And it has three keyboards. Okay. Four days after they arrived, the group of young was 
were surveying the ground. When he got to the point where the temple now stands, he had this cave, so he struck it to the ground, and then he said, here we will build a temple to God. So he began actual construction of the temple a few years later in 1853, and it took the pioneers 40 years to build the temple. And one of the reasons it took so long is it's made out of these large granite blocks. These blocks were taken from a canyon about 23 miles away from here. It was hard to get into the years and years. They were hauled here individually by teams of oxen. So each round trip to the quarry site and back to haul one of these blocks here took about three or four days. So you can understand why it would take 40 years to build. It might be interesting for you to know that the walls of the temple are nine feet thick at the base. It tapers up to six feet thick at the top row of oval windows. So it's not only a very beautiful building, it's very sturdy also. It was built to last. A lot of people have asked me about the scaffolding on the outside. They aren't actually doing any renovation on it, but they are cleaning the outside of the building. a lot of you, but it, it appears to be a large community. Many of you heard of it before. Okay, if you come and you have a, a people that left Jerusalem and migrated here to the American continent, about 600, 623 individual pipes in it. So from what you saw of the organ, the pipes extend about 20, 25 feet back. The smallest pipes are three-fourths of an inch tall. The tallest ones are 32 feet tall. The, the two clusters of three that you saw in the front, and those are also made of pine. Those were painted to go leafing for beauty to make it look like a metal. They really tried to make... Hope you enjoyed that short video clip taken in Salt Lake City, Utah, in November uh, 1991. It takes me back a few years, and it was uh, a nice little trip down memory lane. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.